And you've also mentioned before, which I think is important for audience to know, in, in terms of how we are exposed to these mycotoxins, we can get them through our skin, we can breathe them in, our mucous membranes can take them in. I mean, there's many different pathways for how they can affect us. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a classic one for through the skin is baby bath toys. You know, mm -hmm. if there's a bath toy that can squeak or has any kind of little hole on it, that could be hosting toxic mold. And then you, you know, squeeze it and squeeze it. And now you've just shared mold and mycotoxins with the with the bath water. So some kids who have reactions to bath and, you know, as doctor, as naturopathic doctors are saying, did you change your soap, change your laundry <laughs> right. detergent? Did you do it? You know, and so now, exactly. And now I've, you know, since I've learned so much about mold, I'm always asking, what does baby play with? You know, what does your child play with in the tub? Let's take a look at that. Yeah. How do you recommend uh, cleaning these toys? Like uh, baking soda? I mean, what, what do you do in terms of remediation of the toys? Toys are fine as long as they don't have a way to let water on the inside and mm. can't be dried out all the way. So anything that is, you know, a lot of those bath toys that are like the squishy fish, you know, where you can like have a water fight or something like that. Like I consider those almost like a one-time use only, unless you can fill it up with vinegar or something that's going to be mold static. 